Spring Walk was held to raise awareness for substance abuse and overdose this morning. Meanwhile, new Democrat Party leader Andrea Horvath addressed Thunder Bay's opioid crisis. Emma Chilton has the details. Despite the rainy weather, dozens of dedicated residents came out to walk to raise awareness for the overdose epidemic. Many were seen wearing purple shirts to show their support for those who struggle with substance abuse and in remembrance of their loved ones who were lost to overdoses. The group started their walk at the Arthur Street Walmart parking lot and headed east towards the Cam River Heritage Park. The walk ended at a memorial tree that was decorated with purple ribbons, ornaments and balloons. Walk organizer Carolyn Carl lost her daughter to drug overdose and wants to see change in the city. We have all come together and we are working hard at seeing change in the city. We need resources. We have a very broken system. There's lots of people falling through the gaps that aren't getting the services that they so deserve. Um, there's not anywhere to go after they do the Balmoral Centre. Um, lots of long waits. Uh, so we are going, we are dedicated to improving the services here in Thunder Bay. Many of those walking were affected by loved ones experiencing substance abuse and overdose, including Janine Desmolin, who was grateful to see how many people came out to show their support. I have lost uh, a brother to addictions uh, who overdosed a few years ago. And so I stand with these mothers, and including my mother who couldn't be here today, to walk and to just sing and drum for continued healing. And I think that's really what we're all gathered here for today. Some of us are recovering addicts like myself here, and I'm really grateful and honoured to see so many come out. Meanwhile, new Democratic Party leader Andrea Horvath was supposed to fly into Thunder Bay on Saturday. However, due to plane mechanical issues, was not able to come. Instead, she held a virtual press conference where she addressed the long-standing and growing opioid crisis in the city. She states that she is committed to providing resources necessary to save lives, and if elected, she will build and fund the operation of a 40-bed detox centre. We're also committed to, to uh, rehab services uh, that, uh, that help support people on their journey uh, once they've successfully completed detox. Uh, uh, we know that the uh, Aboriginal Youth Transitional uh, uh, Centre needs to be uh, also uh, funded and supported, and we're committed to that as well. Carolyn Carl will be planning another walk next Saturday with the hopes of better weather and says everyone is encouraged to come out and walk. Emma Chilton, TBT News.